gonna get some breakfast. I feel like this throat infection setting in. I'm sure you can hear it. Uh, so it's crappy because I want to try and record some content this morning since it turns out I still have a full day at my disposal. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm gonna record some content anyway, but I feel like I'm at the precipice of getting very sick, so I hope that doesn't get too bad. I got Brad's coffee. He's a pretty good tasting coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've had breakfast. It was good enough. <laughs> and um, as you can tell, my hotel room is a little bit messy. But what I'm gonna do, uh, as I have about three hours till I have to check out, because I asked if I could have a little bit longer, I want to do a challenge video today, because um, I have some time. And I thought it would be fun that since I have a hotel room to my disposal, I could do a hotel room art challenge, essentially limiting myself to only using paper or pens or anything that can make a visual mark on any of that stuff to stuff that was in the hotel room when I got here. I thought that could be really fun. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a clean up because I don't think that makes great content to like just have my underpants and smelly shirts sort of dangling around the place. So. And the room is clean. Um, you might be wondering why I've gone to all the effort to like make it look like it was when I first got here. I think I get the feeling that like we're all comfortable with our own mess. Like I'm comfortable with my messy hotel room because I made it that way. But I feel like, I don't know, if you were to walk into someone else's messy hotel room, then it's uncomfortable. And I think making content in my messy hotel room, I don't want to risk people watching it and feeling a bit like, mm, you know. So I've even taken the time to like wipe down benches and uh, clean the bathroom because in the video I'm going to do some scouting sections of, um, you know, finding our supplies and stuff. So anyways, I'll show you the equipment I have to work with. So this is my tripod and it folds up to pretty much that big and it's quite small so it's really good and portable. You've seen this before this is the cinema mount and I'm going to be using this when I do the scouting sections when I say that I'm going to like you know take the phone around and find art supplies and blah 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 but it's just going to be nicer with a bit more of a cinematic view and all that stuff uh, especially because it's going to be transitioning from the imagery from the DSLR. So this is my Canon 700D it's just a photography camera that I use for video. Uh, I use that for all of my videos by the way, my announcements and all that stuff, I've just taken it with me. Anyway, so there's an extension cable and uh, the actual lav here, um, but if I use that I hook it up through my Zoom H4n. This has a microphone on top, um, but I don't know, I tend to not love this mic because it picks up too much of the room and I really want an isolated sound. So I'm not even 100% sure if I'll use that stuff, but it's there if I need to. I suspect I'm gonna be using this one quite a lot because it's gonna hook up to the camera and it's gonna be basically like a directional boom uh, that'll be pointing straight at me and cutting out more of the room. So again, this is the one that I filmed uh, the keynote with and is super useful because it's really portable but really high quality. Um, what else have I got? What is this thing? Oh yeah, this is my wireless system. So again, obviously I'm into Rode mics, but um, this is uh, a wireless lav. I won't be using that to be honest, um, but it's always good to have with me just in case. And then 
this is like a cold shoe slash hot shoe, like a double mount thing. It actually has, I'm just like smacking things around. It actually has my, um, my selfie stick uh, end on it. So I can mount my phone on this thing if I need to. And then batteries, and that's it. That's everything I have to work with, but that should be plenty to, uh, to make the content with. So it's quarter to 12. I have to be out here in an hour and a, and a bit, like by one. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it, make this content. This is my setup. I've, I'm improvising because the lighting's pretty terrible in here. There are actually no like lights in the ceiling. I have no idea why hotels are always like that. But anyways, I'm using the window but then it's all too harsh on one side, so I've like moved this giant lamp to right beside the camera to try and even it out a bit, because uh, there's a lot of backlighting, but that is not a great shot, and this says hotel, so I have to try and balance it out. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna start recording. It's a bit difficult, because there's some sort of like a rock group or concert or celebration happening like outside over the balcony. Oh Jesus, there are people abseiling down the hotel. So all this cheering noise in the background and stuff. I just wanna like go out there and be like, hey guys, I'm trying to record a YouTube video. That'll shut him up. So there's a lot of noise that I'm sort of combating. <clears throat> Wish me luck. Okay, I've finished and it's 20 past two, so I'm 20 minutes over my overextended checkout time, so I'm just gonna pack up and get out. Obviously due to rushing out, I didn't get any time to edit in the hotel, but I just came straight to the airport. I'm gonna check in, go to the gate. I think I'll have like an hour spare time after that to do a bit of editing. Then I'll go on the flight home. I've been editing for a couple of hours now and I'm finished with that video that I recorded today and I've got to say, given that I recorded it in a hotel room with just the equipment I had on me and obviously the art supplies that were there, this is one of my favourite art challenge results. I won't show you the result or anything, but um, I'm pretty much done. So I actually have two videos that are about 80% finished, but um, I still need to record voiceovers, but I'm not sure where I'm going to do that. My flight's going to be boarding in the next 10 minutes, so I won't do it now, but when I get to LAX, I need to um, find the quiet place, if that's even possible and do some voiceovers for these videos, if that's possible, because I know I won't be able to go on the airplane, that's just not going to happen because it's way too loud. I've landed in LA and uh, I've tried to find the quietest place I can, but as you can tell, these messages are sort of inescapable. So I'm gonna try and set up my uh, computer here and create a mini sound booth by hanging like my jumper and stuff and talking under it. I'm gonna look like an idiot. I'm gonna get sweaty and hot, but it's the best I can do. And I really wanna get these two videos done before I get back to Melbourne. So I'm just gonna have to record in between any breaks between these announcements. <laughs> So this is my make-do little uh, temporary setup for a mic booth. Uh, I'm using the same mic I recorded the video with and I just pull this over my head. And this helps isolate the sound and so I can record, but basically I still have to wait for when it's a little bit quiet because uh, lots of people and vehicles go past. So I get about 10 seconds every two minutes and I have to try and catch it and then also say the right thing. And then I bring it in here and I'm gonna finally put it all together. Only time will tell if the recordings were decent enough and if not, I'm just gonna have to figure out something in the future, but I'll play around with it in post and see what I can do on the flight. I think I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog here because uh, there's probably no point taking you through the flight with me because I'll just include that as part of tomorrow's vlog, but uh, that was today. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Back on the other side.